All right. by Shimi Harushai, Wahakadash Waka, Wabrakatam, Double Honest, the GMS, Shalom to the Fulect. It's a little brother Shamashwan here with a new video. And today I wanted to focus on this um, uh, organization, CERN, okay, which uh, I don't believe lots of uh, brothers go into CERN. Let's see. I don't want to say that without. Um, No, in the facts, no, no, it doesn't look like uh, much brothers really uh, go into CERN. Let's see here, YouTube. You don't want to, you don't want to say, you know, certain things without knowing the facts. You know, whatever you bring out, man, you gotta, um, you gotta make sure you're, um, you know, saying the facts. So I just want to, you know, look and double check. Yeah. It don't look like much, um, much brothers, um, uh, bring out sir. I don't, I don't really see, uh, anyone here, no problem. But, um, back to the topic CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research or the French Organization Europene pour la Recherche Nucleaire, known as CERN, uh, derived from the name Council European pour la, yeah, as you said. European research research organization that operates the largest particle physics laboratory in the world, established in 1954. Okay, which is um, uh, what is it around 10 years or so after the nuking of uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, will show you that these guys are damn devils and deceivers. After they nuked those um those ammonites, they are still looking into the atom. Okay, they're still looking into the particles, so that they can um you know just keep destroying the world. You know, which is in his nature. The organization is based in the northwest suburb of Geneva on the Franco-Swiss border. All right, when you go back to the Swiss, right, um, that goes into the Ten Kings, okay, the Ten Toes and Daniel. Uh, since I brought it up, let me see if I could, uh, Ten Toes um, in uh, Daniel, you know. Now, these Ten Toes are actually... Um, uh, ten, 10 kings. I'm not going to go too far into it. Uh, I got to I gotta actually uh, look into this again and uh, read up on this again. But um, the 10 tolls are, are uh, uh, 10 kings. All right. And one of those kings is talking about, um, you know, the Germanic tribes that were allied with Rome, which were just Edomites anyway. All right. And when you go into Swiss, the Swiss were originally... Uh, Burgundians, all right, and I believe this is in uh, just in Switzerland. Okay, but back into it. Uh, established in 1954, the organization is based in a northwest suburb of Geneva on the Franco-Swiss border and has 23 member states. Israel is the only non-European country granted full membership. Of course, it is. CERN is an official United States United Nations observer. Uh, let's see here. Has been granted observer status to international organization entities and non member states to enable them to participate in the work of the United Nations General Assembly, though with uh, limitations. So I think they can actually uh, go to United Nations, these scientists. Um, the acronym CERN is also used to refer to a laboratory, which in 2019 had 2,660 scientific, technical, and administrative staff members, and also 12,400 users from institutions in more than 70 countries. In 2016, CERN generated 49 petabytes of data. So, we're just going to keep reading on. Uh, CERN's main function is to provide the particle accelerators uh, and other infrastructure needed for high energy physics research. As a result, numerous experiments have been constructed at CERN through international collaborations. CERN is the site of the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. The main site at Myron hosts a larger computing facility, which is primarily used to store and analyze data from experiments, as well as simulate events. Researchers have need remote access to these facilities, so the lab has historically been a right had has historically been a major wide area network hub. CERN is also the base pro, is also the birthplace of the World Wide Web. All right, but uh, going to the point here, uh, the ha Large Hadron Collider. Lord Hadron Collider is the world's largest and highest energy particle collider. 
Uh, so a collider is a type of particle accelerator which brings two poles and particle beams together, such as the particles collide. Um, we don't really need to read the rest. It was built by the by CERN between 1998 and 2008 in collaboration with over 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities and laboratories, as well as more than 100 countries. Okay, so that's just pretty much uh, what this whole CERN thing is about. This is a very... Um, demonic organization lots of connections to witchcraft as right, so i'm going to go prove and this whole hadron collider thing this is this is just a challenge to the most high these guys uh they're doing a lot of wickedness here man you know if, if someone was really righteous if these edomites are really righteous right once they did the atomic bomb and created the atomic bomb and killed all those ammonites right then they would they should be scared of atomic research but instead these guys go more and more and more and go deeper and deeper into it, all right? And we're going to prove here that they actually want to make weapons. They actually have made weapons using this uh, machine here. But uh, let's go back to the name CERN, right? So the name CERN actually goes back to the name CERNUNOS. Right? And he did it on purpose. He did that shit on fucking purpose. Okay, CERNUNOS is a, is a Celtic horn god, right? And it's represented by uh, rings and... Um, a snake, and this is a representation of a you know, circle of life, rebirth. Let me see if I can go pull it up real quick. Uh, Ouroboros, Ouroboros. Yep. So uh, the whole whole uh, order, life and death, birthed and rebirthed. You know, um, which is why they had the snake here. The snake sheds its skin, so it's these heathens uh, worship the snake as um, you know, like exactly with the Ouroboros I just showed you there. You know, interesting enough, right? Since um, these guys are are so are, are so righteous, right? This is a large hadron collider just talked about here. Uh, interesting enough, look at it. It has a uh, ring. It's just a bunch of rings. Um, see, entire uh, future circular collider. All right, which I believe this is not one. Uh, this is, yeah, this is one that they're going to make in the future. This is one that they have now. It's 27 kilometers. Let's look up what's 70, what's 27 kilometers in miles. You know, 16 miles. So it's a 16 mile long um, uh, collider, which I just proved to you and showed you that it's just, uh, you know, just bouncing chemicals, bouncing them, bouncing chemicals, bouncing, uh, um, particles across each other and um, when these particles bounce they break the nuclei and it uh, creates little miniature explosions uh, nuclear atomic explosions all right and we're gonna we're gonna look more into it all right so um, back to Cernunos I right, so they get the name CERN from okay it's not a coincidence further connection to witchcraft and the goddamn rings okay which is to show you right uh, the Nataraj Sashu, the CERN Siva. Now, I believe it's called the Nataraja, which is Siva's so called um, dance of death. All right, Siva does some sort of cosmic dance that destroyed the world. Obviously, we don't got to go into this. We know this thing is a bunch of bullshit. This is just a fucking false idol made by some fucking Elamites. All right, but if these guys are so righteous, then why do they have a clearly non scientific statue? Um, in front of um, their hotel, which I believe this is actually at the CERN hotel. I don't believe it's actually at the building. Or maybe it is. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, all we know is that it's connected to it there, man. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. Physics Lab CERN has Siva's uh, Nataraj statue. I believe they have another one behind the CERN hotel. CERN also has a hotel, you know. But um, look at that. You know, once more, connections to witchcraft, the rings once again going back to here all right and i don't want to go off too long without bringing out a scripture uh it's the book of second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 lest satan should get advantage of us for we are not ignorant of his devices all right and this is one of satan's aka esau's uh many devices okay along with the chip all right along with that okay so i wanted to go into uh just a couple of various um a various, you know, technological advancements that come out of this uh, large hadron collider. Okay, so starting up with uh, the Human Genome Project. 
All right, the Human Genome Project was an international scientific research project with the goal of determining the base pairs that make up human DNA and of mapping all of, of the genes from both a physical um, and functional standpoint. It remains the world's largest collaborative biological project. Planning started after the idea was picked up in 1984 by the U.S. government. The project formally launched in 1990 and was declared complete on April 4th, 2013. This is very disrespectful to the Most High. Okay, we, we there's certain things that we shouldn't um, look into. Um, and certain Psalms. Uh, do not meddle uh, mm. yep uh, that's the book of uh, Psalms chapter 131 um, verse 1 the song of degrees of David Lord my heart is not haughty nor my eyes lofty neither do I exercise myself in great matters or in things too high for me now, these Edomites are so-called, um, you know, righteous people, right? The people, the Lord's chosen children, the children of light, right? And why are they exercising in themselves and things such as this? And, uh, you know, trying to unlock the secrets of the universe, you know, trying to unlock the, the secrets of the Most High using this Hadron Collider and using it for nuclear research, you know, using it for uh, research into the atom, All right? Because you look into the atom, man, that atom, in that atom, and in, in, in you know, researching, um, you know, how these atoms work in there is pretty much you can kind of find out how the entire world was made, you know, which we already know how the world was made, but you can find out, you know, the mysteries of the universe, so to speak. But, but Esau will never find those mysteries, all right? But um, going back into it, right, Human Genome Project, funding came from the American government through the National Institute of Health, of course, as well as numerous other groups from around the world, a parallel project was conducted outside the government by the Celera, Pro by Celera Corporation or Celera Genomics. Whenever these Edomites want to do something that's fucked up, they'll use a, a corporation that's outside the government. Let me see how much time I got. Uh, which was formally launched in 1998. Most of the government sponsored sequencing was performed at 20 universities and research centers in the United States, the United Kingdom, Japan, France, Germany, and China. All right, which most of these are um, France, Germany, United Kingdom, those are part of the beast, and Japan and China. The Human Genome Project originally aimed to map the nucleotides contained in the human... Yeah, we don't really need to read the rest. This is pretty much, as I said, just um, they want to use it to, to map the genes of the human genome. Why do they want to know that stuff? Because they want to create and synthesize people. All right, so Campus News... Uh, Gene Myers, computer algorithm pioneer in human genome sequencing to join the UC Berkeley facility. Berkeley, more than two years after the landmark sequencing of the genome project, the computer whiz behind the algorithm to use to decipher millions of pieces of genetic materials coming to the University of California, Berkeley, for his next big challenge. Which, uh, Berkeley, if I'm not mistaken, the video I saw on uh, BitChute, um, which I found was, what was it called? The Dark Truth of the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, he said that um, Berkeley College actually, uh, they used the, the Synactotron, uh, well, I'm not going to say the name, Synactotron, Synactotron Collider, which I, I already broke down what a collider is, just bounces particles off it a, a bunch of times, you know, and um, I believe that's where this whole human genome sequencing was done, you know, but I know for a fact Berkeley College is huge into human genome uh, sequencing. All right, once again, a, a big slap in the face to the Most High. This is disrespectful. All right, this is why this nation needs to be destroyed. Okay? All right, so uh, no final frontier. We examine the arguments for and against building the next big particle collider export technology used for different future particle accelerator projects. Um, let's see here. Okay. You might have read these arguments recently with almost the same wording concerning the next big collider with the, those blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. 
The HGP Human Genome Project sequenced the 3 billion DNA base pairs that make up the human genome. It was conceived in the mid 1980s and began in 1990, and the first results were published in 2001. The project cost approximately $3 billion and involved 20 international groups. It was the first large scale project to bring biology into the Big Science League. Um, when the HGP started, the high throughput, throughput gene sequencing technology did not exist. The approach to storing and analyzing large data sets was not well understood, and biologists had no experience working in big international corporations. Despite these issues, the Human Genome Project was successful, and its enormous impact on biology is undeniable. The striking parallels between the HGP and the biggest particle collider in use, um, the Large Hadron Collider, Knowing the genes was believed to be the end of the story, and hopes were that the once hopes that once the genome and genome was sequenced, cancer and other diseases would be swiftly cured, which he possibly could do that, but the most high is gonna allow them to. Okay? Because those um cancers, those sicknesses, those are judgment. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. And also, even if they did find the cure, these Edomites would not give it to you. Alright. They need to keep people sick. Okay, if everyone was cured and they can get rid of sickness, then the hospitals will make no money or make very little money. Fortunately, that has not been the case. There have been many regulatory layers beyond DNA. Likewise, the LHC completed the standard model of particle physics, but left many questions unanswered regarding dark matter, blah, 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 blah. Um, they are connected. Um, they're not going to tell you that they're connected, but um, they're, they're very connected. This, this hydrogen collider... Um, is connected to many different scientific um, uh, research. Let me get another scripture. Um, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 4. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast, and they worshiped the beast, saying, Who was like unto the beast, who was able to make war with him? All right, we're going to go into why it's, uh, you know, why people say that, you know, why, why that's in the scripture. Okay, so, um, uh, Angelsanddemons.com, CERN. I think this is a. Uh, I don't think this is actually CERN's page. Maybe it is. Um, uh, maybe it is. This looks like maybe a possible documentary page. Okay, we don't find antimatter around us. In order to study antimatter, it has to be made. Okay, so let's actually look at what is antimatter. Um, wiki. Let's look it up. In modern physics, antimatter is, the is defined as matter that is composed of the antiparticles or partners of the common supported particles of ordinary matter. Um, minuscule numbers of antiparticles are generated daily at particle accelerators. Total production has only been a few nanograms. And in natural processes like cosmic ray collisions or cosmic ray collisions and sometimes we react like the clit. And in natural processes like cosmic ray collisions and some types of uh, radiative decay, uh, which is, yeah, it's pretty much atoms lose, lose nuclei and whatever. But only a tiny fraction of these have success, has successfully been bound together and experienced to form anti-atoms. No microscopic amount of antimatter has ever been assembled due to the extreme cost and difficulty of production and handling, which is bullshit. These guys have it. Okay. As we said, uh, antimatter at CERN. Antimatter is produced in many experiences at CERN and collisions at the Large Hadron Collider. The antiparticles that are produced cannot be trapped because of their very high energy. They annihilate harmlessly in the, in the detectors, the antiproton decelerator. At CERN produces much slower antiprotons that can be trapped. These antiprotons can be, then can be studied to explore questions such as do antiparticles fall upwards? So they do have antimatter and they are able to um, study. Okay, even if CERN uses accelerators only for making antimatter, it could produce no more than about one billionth of a gram per year to make one gram of antimatter, the amount made by Vetra in the movie. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's the documentary. Or therefore take about uh, one billion years. The, amount, the total amount of antimatter produced in CERN's history is less than 10 nanograms, containing only enough energy to power a 60-watt light bulb, 60 watt light bulb for four hours. Okay, the efficacy uh, of antimatter production storage is very low. About one billionth times more energy is required to make antimatter than is finally contained in its mass. Using E equals mass. Yeah, I don't know, I forgot what that shit is. We find that one gram of antimatter contains. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you know. 
so pretty much just costs a lot to make. All right, so we're gonna look up um, antimatter weapon. But before I get that, I'm gonna pull on the scripture. This is Revelation chapter 16, verse 14. For they are the spirit of devils, working miracles, which go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of our power, home Almighty, of Yahweh. Okay, what is this talking about? It's talking about Esau Edom. Okay, it's talking about the beast. Okay, let's look here and uh. You know, all this here, in the first couple verses, is all judgment, you know. But that's the point. The spirit of devils working miracles will go forth into the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day. The point is in the beginning, okay. Uh, back to it. You know, with the, why, why, did, why did they... Why why did they make that right? They they knew when they were developing this, when they were developing this in the in the in the fifties, they knew they were going to create antimatter. Right? They want to make right antimatter weapons. Okay, antimatter weapon is a theoretically possible device using antimatter as a power source, a propellant, or an explosive for a weapon. Antimatter weapons cannot yet be produced due to the current cost of production of antimatter estimated at sixty two billion dollars per gram. Given the extremely limited technology available to create it in sufficient masses to be viable as a weapon, and the fact that it annihilates upon touching ordinary matter, making containment very difficult. Okay, the paramount advantage of such a theoretical, now as I said before, that's bullshit, right? The whole money thing, $62 million per gram, they can, they can make that shit easily. They can pay that shit easily. The paramount of answers such a theoretical weapon is that antimatter and matter collisions result in the entire sum of their mass energy equivalent being released as energy, which is at least two orders of magnitude greater than the energy release of the most efficient fusion weapons, which is talking about the new thermonuclear bomb. Uh, it's pretty much just ne next generation nuclear weapons. Okay. Annihilation requires... Let's see what annihilation means. As a process occurs when a subatomic particle collides with its respective antiparticle to produce other particles, such as an electron colliding with the positron to produce two po to produce two uh, photons. Well, you know that's going on in uh, I believe in the in the collider probably uh, requires and converts two equal masses of antimatter into matter by the collision, which releases the entire mass energy of both. Blah 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 blah. Using the conversion that one kiloton T and T equivalent. Uh, one trillion calories of energy, one half gram of antimatter reacting with one half gram of ordinary matter, one gram total results in 21.5 kilotons equivalent of energy, just over 40% more than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. Okay, which uh, this is a possible weapon, you know, and it annihilates everything that touches and, re and releases, you know, a whole lot of energy. Right, let's see if we can find uh, antimatter. Uh, antimatter dangers. Antimatter weapon dangers. Let's see here. These guys, these devils are thinking about it, you know? Um, a gram of antimatter could produce an explosion the size of a nuclear bomb. Okay? But they say, oh, we can't make enough. We can't make that much. Uh, let's see here, antimatter weapon, antimatter dangers. All right, it just releases it releases the same amount of energy. So, I mean, is this the same thing with nuclear bombs? Do that shit will rip you atom from atom, man. All right, let's get some more scriptures. Okay, uh, this is the book of Obadiah, chapter one, verse four. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down to save the Lord. Exactly. We're gonna go into more into that. All right. So this is the point on the uh, antimatter weapon. All right. This is a wormhole. Another thing that these guys want to do um, with the, with that uh, large hydrogen collider is with those um, you know little miniature nuclear explosions. They want to see if they can create wormholes using those particles. Okay. This whole LHC thing. You know. Don't worry about this. This thing is just used to um, do more experiments so that they can. Uh, work on technologies like this, like creating a wormhole. Okay, and this is what they want to do. Okay, and this is speculative, right? The Most High will never let Esau do this, you know? As we brought out here in Obadiah chapter 1, verse 4, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and as though thou set thy mess among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. 
these Edomites want to create wormholes. They want to attempt to um, travel to different dimensions, attempt to go to um, to the Most High's realm, okay, and challenge him. That's what he wants to do, okay. And he's gonna fail miserably. All right. And the last thing I want to bring out, which I saw, I thought I I brought it out already, but I don't think that that uh, large hadron collider is used for is uh, for particle beam weapons. Boats armed with guns and explosives approached a Navy ship alongside missile armed drones and helicopters. This is a full three months nice of food without added. needing any refrigeration or special control. storage. Let's see here. Helicopters closing into strike range. Ship commanders would instantly begin weighing defensive options. Nah. I just want I just want to see the, the weapon in action. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we're gonna watch this. You saw that shit? <laughs> yeah. Blew it up. Operationally, it works uh, just like a laser pointer. Um, there's a chamber inside with special materials that release photons. You see, photons, right? Photon. That's a, that's a type of subatomic particle. I'm pretty sure. Okay, it all goes back to this to this large hadron collider. Now, right? this is just another tool that these devils use uh, to create these these weapons. Okay, and you're gonna see them. I personally believe that you're gonna see these laser weapons. These antimatter bombs, they may use this on Jake, okay? Because the thing about it is that um, antimatter weapons, as I said here, that it um, it releases the energy, um, but it when it touches ordinary matter, it um, it annihilates itself. It's annihilated. Right? It's destroyed. It just kind of fizzles out. So that means they can have uh, weapons on par or above the atomic bomb, okay? But then have no nuclear fallout. Okay, they're going to use this. Okay, you're going to see this be used. Okay, well, let's, let's keep watching. If you're looking at a, a, a boat coming in over the water, you can target exactly the engine and take out exactly the engine and not necessarily damage anything else. So, and that type of precision weapon work is, is something that you don't really get with conventional weapons because there's, there tends to be more collateral damage. It's useful against a variety of threats, surface or air. It's not a, it's not a niche weapon system. You notice how they had those gunboats. Ishmael is known for having lots of gunboats. Though Ishmael may not have the ability to have a big ass navy like China does, or like uh, the US has, a powerful navy. Uh, Ishmael does have a lot of gunboats, and when you have enough of those damn gunboats, that will fuck up one of these fucking big ass US ships. Like uh, some yeah, other weapons that Ishmael. we have, you know, throughout the military, where it's only good against air contacts. Or it's only Everything good these Edomites do, once again, goes back to witchcraft. All right, just as a reminder, all this stuff here, man, all this science is all witchcraft. You know, if it was all about science, right, all about quote unquote knowledge, which is a bunch of bullshit, right? Then why why do they always have to have all these demonic uh, symbols? Okay. Get surface targets. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to bring out on that. This is the last scripture I'm going to get. Malachi chapter one verse four, where whereas Edom saith, "We are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places." Thus saith the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the board of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. All these things are going to be destroyed. All right. Okay. Esau tries to build. He tries to do these scientific projects. Okay. Looking into the human genome because he wants to create people. He wants to do create hybrids. He wants to create super soldiers and the like. Okay. And uh, which I brought out here. I'm not sure if I brought this out. Uh, Strangelets, um, and this is pretty much they just want to, you know, 
this is another tool that they want to use to try to destroy the world. They claim that it's it's hypothetical, of course, but you know they claim that it's you know what's the Big Bang, but we don't believe in the Big Bang because the entire creation story is in Genesis and it does not talk about a big ass fucking explosion. Okay, when these guys say, "Oh, we we found the Big Bang is true," don't believe their fucking science, man. They probably made that shit up. You know how many scientists make that make shit up? Like, do I even do I even have to tell you? Uh. 800 studies say pesticides don't cause uh, increased cancer. Well, now they say that. But years before this, before, you know, they started exposing uh, glyphosate, um... There was many articles pushed out that said that glyphosate doesn't cause cancer, you know. Once again, it's just all their wickedness. No matter how much bullshit they build, because this is Esau's blessing, the sword. All these anti-matter weapons, you know, and all these strange lits, you know, which is, uh, you know, it's just kind of a, a, a uh, theoretical concept, not really real. Okay. Um, let's see, dangerous. Um... Uh, mm, uh, oh, I think there's something here. Let's see here. There's something I read here. Magnetars zero pressure. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, fuck it. And, and oh, here it's dangerous. Whoops, it's luck, yeah. Um, all right, so if the strange matter hypothesis is correct, if a stable negatively charged strange it with a surface tension larger than the ferment to critical value exists, this large strange it will be more stable than a larger one. One speculation that has resulted from the idea is that strange it coming into contact with the lump of ordinary matter would convert the ordinary matter into strange matter. The danger of catalyzed conversion by strangers produced in heavy ion colliders have received some media attention and concerns of this type were, create, were uh, raised. At the commencement of the RHC experiment in Brookhaven, which could have potentially created strangers, a detailed analysis can look concluded that the RHC conclusion that the RHIC relativistic heavy ion collider. Uh, were compatible to ones that would naturally occur as comic rays, uh, as comic rays traverse the solar system. So we would already have seen a disaster if it was possible. The Most High is not gonna, you know, these guys want to experiment with this shit to destroy the world. You know, these guys, they want they want to experiment with this shit. But the Most High, you know, who hold back some destruction? But it's gonna come to a point where all of this shit is gonna come come out, and their own their own bullshit is gonna destroy them. RHC, RHIC has been operating since 2000 without incident. Similar concerns have been raised about the operation of the LHC at CERN. Such fears are dismissed as far-fetched by scientists. All right. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, what strange matter is. Uh, strange matter is quark matter, which is a subatomic sub car particle containing strange quarks in nature. Strange matter is about to occur in the core of a neutron stars. Uh... I don't know what the fuck that really means. Dark matter. Yeah, yeah we don't really got to go too far into that shit. Let's just look it up real quick, see if we can find it. Strange matter. Strange matter. Uh, is strange matter dangerous? A neutron enters strange matter and dissolves to release its quarks, lowering its energy, its low energy, that's most stable, possibly the most stable energy source in the entire universe. Is the most dangerous substance in the universe. Why is strange matter so dangerous? If the strange matter hypothesis is correct, and if it's strange... Yeah. Some call it the most dangerous. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. And one of the most violent events in the universe, two neutron stars are gravitationally lashed one to another. They perform a cosmic dance, one's going back to Shiva. Uh, these guys uh, worship these stars and these things. Let's see here how far I'm in. Yep, I'm probably gonna close it off a little bit soon. Um, uh, 
Okay. Uh, comes with the back hole. Gone, gone. Okay, the star wavers. So they're talking about stars exploding or some shit. I don't know. Oh, let's see here. My master is hoping the star wavers, but finally it comes into a black hole. I think they're talking about stars dies. Uh, I'm pretty certain black holes are theoretical. There's never been uh, one proven. The universe is now home to a new dark sucking sphere. Less dense material that is inscribed into the black hole will orbit around the fast moving Taurus extending hundreds of miles is one is during one of these events that scientists hypothesize a dangerous unpredictable substance might be ejected into the universe this is strange matter and it could exist here on earth already deposited in our water or tucked away in arctic meteorites the strange matter is like a pathogen affecting and converting normal matter to something altogether uh, altogether different if as physicist edward farhi described that a lump of strange matter has an insatiable appetite for neutrons and grows fat by calling them Anything comes in contact with the border of strange matter will be consumed by it, altered at a subatomic level until the normal matter itself became strange. Damn. <laughs> That's what these damn devils want to do, man. As we said here, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, let's say you should get advantage of us, for we're not ignorant of his devices. You think, you think Esau is making this bullshit and studying this shit not to try to use this on Jake? Okay, try to fucking use antimatter weapons on Jake. Try to fucking uh, make strange matter and make strange matter weapons and use them on Jake. Of course he is. Okay. And he also, you know, the human genome. Pro yeah, exactly. Everything, man. It's all fucking, fucking bullshit, man. This is why Malachi 1 and 4. Okay. Yep. Whereas Edom say, if we are in province, but we return, build a desolate place to save the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. They sh and they shall call them the border of wickedness. The people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Con. Exactly. I want to go get one more thing here. Uh, we're going to look at that word border. I'm actually kind of interested in what it says. And after that, I'm going to close out. Um, Malachi chapter 1 verse 4. All right, let's look at the word of of uh, border. Border. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to say that in Hebrew. Border, territory, territory, region. Territory of darkness. Okay. Boundary limit of the field of a region. Exactly. The region of wickedness. That is what Esau is. Okay. We just proved it here. With all these various things he wants to do. Human DNA. Uh, DNA synthesis. Or possible human DNA altering. Oh. Connection right back again to transhumanism. Once again. Connection to that um, uh, uh, Marcus, man. Okay. They probably came up with the Marcus here, man. Because... The whole LHC, the whole haploid uh, hadron collider, hadron uh, collider is connected to this. Okay, it's all connected, as this guy's uh, showed here. Okay, wanted to make strange matter, strangelets, you know, which which as it proved here, this is theoretical, of course, but they claim that if it could, you know, could create, you know, could possibly create a black hole, man, you know, which black holes have never been proven, but you know. This is what you, this is the type of thing Esau thinks of. This type of thing Esau wants to do. Okay, that's so how we know he's wicked. This is why he's wicked. Alright, he wants to make antimatter weapons, uh, particle beam weapons, laser weapons. Okay, this shit will blow the you know what I'm saying? This shit the, the, the guy just proved prove my point. Photons. Alright, it's proven, all right, it's atoms, it's subatomic at, atomic particles, subatomic particles. Alright, that stuff, all that research came out of here, right? All out of the Hadron Collider. Okay. This is this is why they're wicked, man. All right, I want to say kahola mi hawa by shimi hawa shai by shim hawa kakadash or brakatam to be continued shalom.